Hello, welcome to Physionic. In this content, I'd like to offer some insight on how the ketogenic diet affects your blood cholesterol if you are overweight. If you're considering trying a ketogenic diet to control your cholesterol, I'll offer you some hard data from a study which may help make your decision easier. So let's go ahead and jump in. Learn your body, a science-based education. As I mentioned in the introduction, we'll be basing our conclusions off a study that will be linked along with my notes and follow-up amendments that aim to answer this question of keto on cholesterol in those that have a, a lot of extra weight on their body. The researchers recruited 83 people of a similar split of men and women into the study. They were middle-aged and quite overweight. This study was a repeated measures design, meaning that all the participants of the study were put on a ketogenic diet that consisted of 20 to 30 grams of carbohydrates, 80 to 100 grams of protein, and was focused on unsaturated fats. The participants consumed that diet for 12 weeks. Then they were allowed to consume a bit more carbohydrates, up to 50 grams, for the following 12 weeks, making the study 24 weeks in length. The researchers made body weight and cholesterol measurements at the beginning of the study, pre-keto, then again eight weeks later, 12 weeks later, and at the end, 24 weeks. These measures at 8, 16, and 24 weeks were compared against the baseline measures to get an idea of the effectiveness of the ketogenic diet. Ketones were not measured, and a multivitamin was also consumed. Okay, great, but how did things turn out? Well, looking at cholesterol, the ketogenic diet resulted in a reduction in total cholesterol, a decrease in low-density lipoprotein cholesterol particles, and an increase in high-density lipoprotein cholesterol particles. To be a bit more specific, there was a dramatic decrease in total cholesterol in the first eight weeks, which did not decrease further after the initial eight weeks. A similar effect was experienced with a low-density lipoprotein cholesterol but not so for the high-density cholesterol particles. High-density lipoprotein particles increase significantly after 16 weeks, with a little effect in the first eight weeks. So this shows that total and low-density cholesterol particles reduce quickly within the first two months, but high-density cholesterol particles take some time. Now, I should also mention that there was a significant loss of weight in the first eight weeks, with further but less pronounced loss of weight over the following 16 weeks. The participants of the study lost about 12 kilograms over that total 24 weeks. That's a lot of body weight. So, all wrapped up, what does this mean for you? It means that a ketogenic diet focused on unsaturated fats can lead to significant weight loss and significant reductions in cholesterol within two months. So if you're overweight and considering a ketogenic diet, for these measures, it is a viable option with great success. I hope this proved useful to you and informative for you. And with that, I certainly hope to have the pleasure of speaking with you in the near future. Until then, bye.